Welcome back to Self Built. Have you ever found yourself in this type of situation? Where you're going up and you run out of steam and you don't have enough strength to get it back to re-rack it and your fellow dog cannot spot you. This is a very dangerous position to be in. Either if you're lucky you can roll the weight off the bar which will damage things or let it crush you or you can humiliately roll it off of you which is so much fun. So, what are you supposed to do when that happens? Let me show you. I feel like I should be giving you guys a disclaimer and a warning to only do this at your own risk and I'm not gonna be held liable for any of this, but I'm gonna show you how to make a little DIY self-spotting contraption mechanism thingamajigger, whatever you want to call it. And it's something I've come up with that I would not recommend for doing like one rep maxing or anything to where you're gonna put yourself in that type of situation. What I made this for is for when I'm doing extra reps and it's a relatively not a crazy close to maxing weight, but I want to be able to go to failure and I'm training by myself. So how am I supposed to do that when I'm not able to self spot myself? I gotcha. Let me show you what I came up with. A couple of things you're gonna need. This is just a nice luxury, but if you have two little ankle wraps that you can attach cables to, it's definitely a plus. It's not needed. And then you'll need some chain and carabiner. And then you're gonna need two cable stations that are above you and the weight. And I'll show you how you connect that. So most importantly, you need to have your training partner on the bench ready to spot you at any moment. And you're also going to need some longer chain as well. This is roughly three feet or so, something like that. But longer chain is what you need. What you're gonna to wanna to do with the long chain is hook it around the closest length that it can, or close. And I'll usually put this somewhere close to where my hand grip will be but that way you can kind of make sure it doesn't slide. But with it being on the knurling on the bar, it's not gonna go anywhere when there's weight there. And then you're gonna hook the other end to your top cable right here. And you can see I've already done it to the other side. So that's the first step. Let me show you the second one. Your next step is going to be to connect your shorter chain to the other side. And also make sure, let me show you sideways. I'll zoom in on it. But just so you know, so the spotting part is gonna be the top coming out of the top and the pulling up of the bar is gonna be at the bottom of the pulley. It'll make more sense, but that's just a preview. And this part you'll just hook right on. It'll help hold just so the bar, so the chain's in the right spot. But if you don't have these little handy dandy ankle attachments, you can just make a little loop like so, and then put your foot or your shoe in and help push with your legs. But let me show you real quick how it looks with the good stuff. So what you're going to do is, since I've got these little ankle things on, I'm going to be hooking the cable to my feet, and all I have to do when I'm wanting to get a spot or a self lift off is just push down with my legs, and it'll help take some weight off. So it's a great way to help get extra reps in give yourself a lift off, whatever you wanna do. It's just a good way to help, but do it at your own risk. I'm not an engineer or anything like that, so I can't be held liable for what you do. I'm just showing you what I've come up with, <laughs> and it's kind of fun. Okay, so you'll attach to your ankles, one here, and you can kind of check to see like where it's at as far as the length, if you like it or you don't. So I'm hooked in like this. And then, what you wanna do, okay, so how I've got my length set is you can't really see it, but my toes are off the ground and I've got tension here already. So if I want to, I just need to push my feet back a little bit. You can see that it's already moving the weight, see? Whoa, oh my goodness, I got magic powers. But anyways, 
You can use that just to kind of help get a little bit of a lift off if you want. And then coming down, you'll race your feet with it. So I'll just kick my feet up on here. And then do your thing, do some reps. Just one more time, I would not recommend using this for maxing, but use at your own risk. Okay, now, oh no, I'm stuck, somebody help me. Oh my goodness. I should get an Emmy for this kind of acting. Now all you gotta do is you can just rest your feet and you can just lift, like look at this. I'm not even doing anything. So I'll give you a different angle just so you can see. But you're getting the idea. I can see it. Okay, second angle for you. Just to show you, once you've got the length and everything hooked up, this can be a, quitty, <laughs> a pretty quick process where you just hook things on and then you're good to go. One thing to watch out for is make sure the spotting cable is above this, otherwise it'll be binding and it just won't work. And make sure to give your Apollo a couple good luck rubs. And then once you get in there, you can kind of see that my feet, well, my heels are about two inches off the ground. So if I wanted to, I can just push and you can see the magic is staying there. Then you can do your thing, lift your legs up, do your stuff. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck again. All you gotta do, whoop, check this out. Two fingers. And then you can rack and you're good to go. Okay, so a close up of the setup is we've got your shorter chains here, you've got your cable. Going all the way up, going to just your normal uh, pulley, and then it comes back down, and then you've got your longer chain, and that is what is hooking onto the bar. It just wraps around to itself through a carabiner, and then you're good to go. And it makes it so you can get a couple extra, extra reps out, get up that intensity, especially when someone's not gonna spot you. Rude but when you're that cute, you don't have to spot. All right, that concludes our video for today. Hope it helps somebody out if you decide to try it, but do it at your own risk. This is just an idea. It's an educational video, if you're wondering. And Apollo distracts me a little bit. And if you like this video, give it a like right over here. And if you want to see some more Apollo, give it a little sub right here. And Apollo will appreciate it oh so much. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything at all, drop it down below. Drop it, drop it low, just like Apollo. And we will see you next time on Self Built.